Hi, in this video we're going to see the most important new features in Mystica Boutique 8.10. So let's start. Probably the most requested feature for Mystica Boutique was the support of Blackmagic Design Decklink video boards, and is finally here. We support now all the boards from Blackmagic, making Mystica more accessible than ever before. The option to enable it is in the mconfig. Now if we go to the master format, we'll see three options. None, Asia and Blackmagic. If you have a DVS board, Mystica will detect it automatically. That's the reason why it's not here. So now Mystica Boutique supports Asia video boards, Blackmagic Tech Link and DVS for video output. Along with the Blackmagic Tech Link support, the other big feature of this version is the support of Dolby Vision. This was a very requested feature in the past. Now we have it here in Mystica Ultima and Mystica Boutique. We will explain all the details regarding Dolby Vision in a proper tutorial, but we can say here that we support the full Dolby Vision toolset, including external and internal CMU. The full workflow has been designed to work as a regular effect in our powerful timeline, offering full integration with the rest of the effects and more flexibility than other solutions. This version brings as well the latest SDK for RED files. In this version, you will notice an important performance boost thanks to the new CUDA integration for the latest NVIDIA boards. The option can be found in here, in the mconfig. In the codec tab, you will see the different technologies that you can use for the RED divider. And as you can see, we have included the latest CUDA technology for much better performance. Another high requested feature was the connectivity with external render forms. In this version of Mystica Boutique, you can generate render scripts automatically and send them directly to your external render farm. The functionalities include in the Output tab. In here, you will find a new button called Add to Render Queue. The function of this button is defined by the selected option. As you see, in this new window, we have different options for this new functionality. Send to Mystica Ultima Batch Manager, send the files to Mystica Workflows, or use an external render farm like Smets or Deadline. You will see another improvement in the Relink tool. Now when you open a timeline with the media offline, a new window appears to relink the clips. The most interesting feature is that Mystica now remember the setting, building automatically a translation system for paths. So once we relink the media, the next time that we open this timeline, Mystica will remember the alternative path for the clips. This allows to move projects between operative systems in a really easy way. Another area that has dramatically improved is the support of subtitles. Now the button of load subtitle disappears from the edit tab. Instead, when we want to load a subtitle, we can just take the file, drag and drop over my timeline, and then a new window appears. In here, we can define all the common settings for my subtitle. Font type, size, kerning, alignment, etc. Once we have the right settings for our project, we click OK, and there we go. If we select one of these clips, you'll see how the subtitle has now the previously selected settings. One important improvement is the new capability of remapping and manage different mappings for the tangent panels. We have changed the implementation of tangent panels developing a much more open and flexible system. Mystic is now fully integrated with the tangent applications, like the tangent mapper. So now, when we connect a panel to our system and start Mystica, we will see in the mapper a virtual view of the panel. If we click in one of the buttons, we can assign the desired functionality. As you can see, functions have been organized in a logical and clear way to find them quickly. Once we make our own mapping, we can just save it with the name that we want. We continue increasing the support of external hardware by supporting the precision panels in Mystica Boutique. These panels were only supported by Mystica Ultima in previous versions, but in this new release, you will have all the functionality of the precision panels for Windows and Mac. The option to enable them can be found in the mconfig in the precision tab option. These are the most important features in Mystica Boutique 8.10.
To see another improvements and to check the full list of changes, visit our website. Thanks for watching and enjoy Mystica!